Hi everyone, uh, just a quick vlog today, just going to be showing you guys what we do at night time. It's late night in uh, Birmingham, UK, it's 2.28 and I've just been called into work and uh, just going to take you guys along and show you what, you what it is exactly that I do late at night. So just to my right there, there was the uh, a big McDonald's drive through uh, a big restaurant. Now, since the boycott for the Palestinian cause, uh, this McDonald's has closed down. Apparently it's been renovated, but it did be forced into a closure. So uh, I wasn't able to turn the camera and show you guys, but somewhere along the line tonight, I probably will show you that McDonald's that has closed down. It's known as the Small East McDonald's in Birmingham. Now, just to tell you guys that I'm not really allowed to film inside the workplace. I can do a little bit, but I can't do too much, so uh, let's see how we get on. But I will be uh, showing you guys some of the deliveries I'm doing tonight because um, apparently Birmingham's supposed to be a, a scary place late at night, but I've been doing it for about 30 years. Um, I don't find it that scary. It's actually gonna block better than it was before, to be honest. But anyway, let's see how we get on. Tonight I'm actually um, delivering for a place called TJ's. It's in Birmingham Central, well, just outside the city centre on the outskirts. And uh, these guys are meant to be really busy at late at night. Well, they are really busy late at night. So uh, this is why I get called in now and again uh, when their normal drivers can't cope with the workload. So let's see how we get out. So I've just picked up the first delivery. Um, it's not going too far. It's going to Birmingham 4, which is the city centre. So let's get this done. As you can see, that's the place there, TJ's. It's a little place that's hidden away, but my God, are these guys busy, I tell you. Okay, just dropped off the first one just had a bit of an altercation with the person because they had the wrong address the wrong phone number so there's a bit of an uber scam going on at the moment i don't know if a lot of people a lot of you guys know about it but there's a there's an uber scam going on what people do is uh, they reclaim their money okay so the first one's been dropped off but um got into a bit of a kind of argument not really an argument but a bit of an altercation with the kid that was uh, picking the food up apparently it was the wrong phone number it was the wrong address as well uh, these guys do this at night time the students this is the uni students i'm talking about now they put in wrong addresses wrong numbers just to get their money back and all kinds of stuff and um, on another day i wouldn't have gave it to him but he started crying <laughs> he started crying so i just gave him his food and uh, we made a note of it so um, let me know if you want me to film some of these altercations with these uni students because they can be hilarious at times, honestly. Oh, God. I'm getting too old for this. Okay, so I found another one. This time I'm going to Jerry's Lane, which is in Erdington. And that's a postcode of uh, B23, I think it is. Anyway, let's start making a move. Okay, people, don't forget to uh, drop in the comments what exactly do you want to see on, you know, on these nighttime vlogs, these late night vlogs, these very, very late night vlogs. Uh, there's hardly anybody about to be honest it's a saturday night as well um, it's just 
I think it's because it's Ramadan, it's like kind of like mellows out really quickly. It's uh, pretty quiet at night time. Okay, so as you can see, there's nobody about. There's hardly anybody about. A lot of blue lights about. But you always get that late at night. It's an ambulance here. Like I said, we're, this one's going to Jerry's Lane in Erdington. Uh, that's B23. I'm not going to say too much about Erdington because if you're from Birmingham, you know all about Erdington. So I'm uh, not going to say too much. But anyway, let's uh, let's get this one delivered. Anyway guys, it's, uh, it's Ramadan, um, drop a comment below and let me know how your, how the rosé are going and how you guys are fasting and what time do you actually do your uh, seheri because it's what, 3.16 now and I think one of the drivers has gone off to um, get some food for all of us and uh, do seheri. Oh my god, that's an old car, isn't it? That's the old T Ridge. Oh my god, that brings back some memories. This car here on the, the right of me, as I'm passing, that is an old, old car. That's an old T Ridge Honda. Slade Road in Eddington. Uh, the ramps on this road are nasty. Nasty ramps on here. I suppose. So we're on Jerry's Lane now, just got to find the number. I think, if I remember rightly, that number is just past that side road there. Let's see if I, my memory is uh, serving, serving me well tonight. Let me see. Is it? Yep. Bang on. Bang on. Right outside the house. So let's do this. I'm just going to turn the camera off because the uh, customer's walking into me. Okay, so uh, this guy just literally just walked out of an alleyway, which is at the side of the house. And so just to be on the safe side, I um, had to just confirm the name and the address and just gave him his food. Now let's get back. It's about 10 minutes back to, um, back to TJ's to go and pick up another one. 
So let's get on with it basically. Belt. Okay, let's get the seatbelt on. Don't forget, let me know in the comments if you want me to do this on a regular basis. Not when it's so dead at night, but like obviously because uh, when it's a bit more busier and there's a lot more people around and uh, it's a lot more interesting. But late at night in Birmingham, I mean, it's not as spooky and it's not as dangerous as everybody makes out to be. Um, I don't know, just Birmingham just got this horrible reputation. But trust me, it's not as bad as everybody says. Since it's Ramadan, I'm not listening to any music whatsoever. No music for the whole month. I mean, I don't listen to much music anymore now anyway because I'm, I'm a lot older now. And it's, um, I've come out of that music kind of thing. I'm not going to lie, I do listen to it now and again. But um, I'm trying to stick to my nashids and my nards and stuff like that. So. You know, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but you know, when one traffic light stops you then on the journey, every traffic light, light is going to stop you. Have you ever found that? I mean, that happens to me all the time. I get stopped by one traffic light, then I'm going to get stopped by all of them. And another problem I have at night time is um, I can never tell in the rear view mirror if it's a police car that's behind me or not. <laughs> so, most of the time I'm just like driving slowly because like, I just can't tell who's behind me, so it's not worth the risk. But as you can see, I'm just like, sticking to the speed limit. There's no point in going hammer and tongues at it because, I mean, the road's clear. I mean, I can put my foot down if I want to, but see now, right now there's a car behind me. I just cannot tell. But most of the time, you know, you've got to slow down anyway because there's so many potholes in Birmingham, right? It's like, it's just, it's kind of like playing a game, dodge the pothole, if you know what I mean. It's... There's an interesting character on the left there that I just passed. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. Who wants to stand on the street corner at like three thirty in the morning? Seriously. I mean, right now in Birmingham, I think TJ's is the only place, probably one of the only places that is open for decent food. Um, there's a few others open, but. The usual ones, you know, you've got your Caspians, you've got um, what else is open at this time? I can't really think of many to be honest, but TJ's, these guys are always open late at night. Ah, the bloody ramps. Coming up on the left here, you've got the, the 
famous Nietzsche's Boxing Club. Um, I've got a grandson who goes here. And apparently, he's got a lot of potential and he's a future champion. So, let's see what happens if he keeps it up and he keeps himself out of trouble. Uh, kid's got a lot of potential. Uh, shout out to Arise. How you doing, Arise? Uh, hope you're watching this one anyway. Um, keep up the good work. Hopefully, see you in the ring one day. Getting 10 bells knocked out of you. <laughs> uh, hopefully, not. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe. The, the, the vlogs will get better. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing this. I thought, you know what, sod it. There's so many people out there doing it. Why not? Because I've been in radio all my life. I've always been behind a mic. Um, let's do this and see how we uh, kind of get on with it. So don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment to do down below and uh, just let me know what you think or which area, <coughs> which areas do you want me to be <coughs> filming in? TJ's closes at 5 in the morning, so uh, we've still got a good hour and a half to go. Ow! Bloody potholes, I swear to God. about 30 seconds we're going to be going on a road which is probably the rockiest road in Birmingham just watch out I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice but this road is it's full of bumps it's not even potholes it's just like bumps it's just going up and down like mini little pot, <laughs> mini little hills if you know what I mean yeah watch this I'm just going to turn onto it now here we go it kind of happens like halfway down 